So in this example, we want to carry out a measurement of an unknown x value from its y value, and we use a standard curve for that, uh, or rather the best fit line for this standard curve. So what are we going to do in this uh, example? We have, say, a standard curve that looks like this with some data here, something like that. And we've got a y value, a given y value. Actually, we take three measurements, something like that. And from the mean of that, we are trying to estimate the mean for that and the corresponding unknown x value. That's a very common procedure when you are working, for example, in a lab uh, using a standard curve to find out this unknown x value. So uh, how are we going to deal with that? Well, let's first of all have a look at what the data look like. Let's have a look at the standard curve. So I highlight the cells and then go to the insert and the charts. And I'm going to have a scatter plot here. So let's put that here, the scatter plot. And uh, we've got our y values and the x values here. Uh, we are doing a trend line, so I highlight one of the data points, right mouse click, add the trend line for that, and I get an R square value and the equation. And it's a pretty good uh, trend line here, or best line of fit. So 98.9%, .9%, this indicates that 98.9% .9 of the y values are, are explained by or predicted by the x values. And now we've got an, a y value, and we have done this experiment in triplicate, a y value of 3.8. So that would be roughly here. So we do three experiments and the mean of that would be 3.8. And now we want to know what is the corresponding x value. So we go to this line and go down and this here would be our x u, the unknown x value. And we can just uh, very simply calculate that. So we can say y equals mx plus c. That is the line for this best fit line. And we can make x the subject of that. So x equals y minus c divided by m by the gradient. And of course, we can do the calculation for that. So we can calculate x, that would be equals the y value that we've got here, 3.8 minus the y intercept, that is this value here, minus the negative value that is then would give us a plus 0 0.0561. And we divide that by the gradient, and that is 0 0.6434. And that would be our unknown value. That would be roughly around 6. So that's uh, pretty much what we would see here. So that is the unknown x u value. x u equals 5.99, or roughly 6, whatever the units are. Now, so far, so good. But the problem is because 
we have not a hundred percent exact line of best fit there is surely there is a certain there is a is a given uncertainty in this value so it would not be really make a lot of sense if we just simply say our unknown value is 5.99 we would need to say it's 5.99 Nine plus minus a certain margin of error. Margin of error. Because actually, there is some uncertainty in this line of best fit from the data. So how can we find this margin of error? And what do I mean actually by this? So here is a slightly different depiction in, uh, I've done that in the program R, where we see pretty much the same as what we had uh, above here in this line. The only difference is that we've got this gray shaded area. And this shaded area is actually the confidence interval. This is the range or, or the region where our where we believe that the population of this lines of best fit are located and what we see here is when we look at our value of uh, y of the mean that i've indicated here is that it hits this line here like we've done in the uh, above example so that would be here roughly six but it also hits this shaded area at two different points and these are actually these confidence intervals that we want to find out how good are these values this is this margin of error that i've indicated here which we can find if we only knew how wide these uh, this prediction or confidence area actually is so uh, how are we going to find this now this is a little bit more involved in excel uh, but uh, i've linked in the video uh, in, in in the description to the video i have a link to a sort of a little tutorial how you can do that however i have done uh, a little program on a website and the link again is in the description to this video where we can easily calculate this margin of error. So let's head over to this website and do the calculation over there. So here is this website where we can uh, do this calibration curve statistics gives a little bit of information about how it's done, uh, the problem in general, have a look at it. And here is the calculator. There's also a great tutorial by uh, one of my colleagues here. And uh, what we need to do is we need to put in the data that we have measured. So how many data points have we measured? Well, let's have a look uh, how many data points we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine data points, and we have taken Y in triplicate. And that is the information that we need for this website to set up. So we have nine data points, and we have measured our Y in triplicates. So we create the input table and we now need to put in the data for uh, our measurements. So here are now the data input into this data table, x values and y values. And for the uh, y that we measured, we had uh, a mean of 3.8. Now the program allows you to uh, enter the value separately but we've got the mean only uh, so we just enter 3.8 three times here 3.8 and 3.8 that would give us this mean and now we just simply press the calculate button and uh, get the uh, result so we can 
the program gives us a lot of information about the slope and the intercept. Uh, it gives us the average reading of the sample, which we already had, the 3.8, gives us a standard error, and it gives us the 95% confidence interval for the unknown sample. So it is 5.99, as we said, plus or minus 1.26. So just round it 1.255 to 1.26. And we can put that into our uh, result, into the Excel spreadsheet. So this would be 5.99. That is what we set here. Um, 5.99 XU plus minus the margin of error. And that was one point. Two, I need to check, 1.26, 1.26. So that would be our margin of error. Let's do that properly. 5.99 plus 1.26. And that would be the margin of error that we have here plus minus for our unknown x value that we've determined from the y value here using a standard curve. So uh, the I will put the uh, link to this website and the tutorial in the uh, description to this video and I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.